at YouTube, as the title would suggest. Yes, this computer uh, works again. I fixed it in the same day that it broke. Well, it broke yesterday night, but I put a much smaller and older hard drive in it. It's a Seagate Momentous 60 gig, I think. And I took out this WD Scorpio WD2500, so... Except it's... This is a 250 gig. The other one's a 60 gig. The 60 gig is also much slower, but it's good enough to... It's nice to have a laptop that actually works. So let's turn it on now. That's like a 100 times quieter. Because this hard drive was actually small even for the day that it came out. See, different hard drive name. It seems to post quicker for some reason. And you're going to get to see what it's really supposed to do when it boots up. Hang on, let me come in here. Don't tell me it's broken again. I can't hear the hard drive for other noise, so. Okay, it's not broken. It was just being slow. I could tell because the hard drive indicator started actually flickering like it's supposed to. Alright, there's my cursor. This is what it's supposed to do. And my password. Same operating system, in case you're wondering. Sorry about the shaky camera. My hands are shaky. And here you go. Let's go ahead and watch my other video of it. On here. YouTube. I know, my homepage is weird. I was just experimenting. I need to take away a lot of that stuff. Because it's pointless to have. And the internet's slow down here, too. Oh, hang on, let me get adblock. For some reason, it does not seem to sync your add-ons on the Linux versions. I think it's bug. Get more extensions. Add block. Plus. It'd help if I spelled it right, wouldn't it? Add to home. Add. There, it's adding it to Chrome. And Block Plus has been installed. Alright, that's good. Now, if I refresh this page, let me my volume up. Um. What the heck? I don't think my. I have a touch sensitive button thingy, and I guess it was messing up. Okay. So, here we are on YouTube Video Manager. It is definitely working, even though we're watching a video of it not working on the computer. Hello, what's going on? Uh, guys? That's hilarious, uh, actually. Well. Yep. See, he even added a description. Using it, so. Alright. Except there is one issue. If I try to play Minecraft, I don't know why it does this. Also, sometimes Java won't even just, just won't even open. I don't even know why. But open with. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I think it's going to work now. Now that it's totally freaking out. Oh. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I didn't know that it was out yet. So we are going to be experiencing downloading the new version of Minecraft. Freeman 2001. I don't know why tab doesn't work in the current version of the launcher.
I bet there's just gonna be a bunch of trolls saying don't use Linux, and I'm going, and I'll just be going, there's nothing wrong with Linux. Now it says logging in, but I don't know if it's actually logging in. Oh, it is. Woohoo. This is the first time I've actually gotten the Minecraft launcher to open, so. We're downloading the packages. Hello, YouTube. Can you see me? Hi. I don't know what it's doing. Well, you bet it's because I don't have the correct video card driver. I mean, how many times is that the case? It says updates are available. No, apparently not. Even though it said there were. Alright. Now, let me go ahead and show you something. All applications, wine, programs, 7-zip, 7-zip file manager. Anytime now. It just takes a minute. There you go. Wobbly windows. I love them so much. But, look. This is actually a Windows program. Yeah, it's mimicking Windows XP. And the C drive is an emulated Windows installation. And the Z drive is the root disk. So, so if you go to Home, Sydney, this would be the My Documents folder, basically. And if a Windows program goes that wants to go to My Documents, it'll send it here. So, dot Minecraft bin native seven zip open archive. See, you can actually mod using a Windows program. So there you go. That's kind of cool. All right, now it's time to shut this thing down. The system's going down for halt now. The people who wrote the Linux kernel really had humor. A great sense of humor. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm actually going to upload it on that computer. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.